It's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the shadow trail effect you guys saw in the preview. I thought this was a very very cool effect and I recently uploaded a ghost trail effect which you guys absolutely loved. So I had to kind of try to make like another version of it which I did. Uh, played around a lot and I came up with the shadow trail instead. Uh, I thought this was a not gonna lie, even cooler than the ghost trail. In my opinion, not gonna lie. So I'm, I'm very excited to show you guys how to make this. And if you guys don't know, my name is Pelle Koberg. I've been editing for almost 10 years now and I'm running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a lot of editing packs that's going to save you a lot of time, first of all, and money, because time is money, you know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> it's the same thing. So, you know, if you guys wanna take your editing to the next level, save a lot of time, money, etc. Feel free to check out my website. Now let's get into the tutorial. So here I'm in After Effects. I've added the footage I'm going to be using for this tutorial here. And uh, yeah, it's going to look something like this here. Pretty clean. And the first thing we're going to be doing is basically roll to brush out our artist, character, whatever you guys have in your footage. I'm going to start off by rotor brushing that and if you guys don't know how to rotor brush I made a tutorial on it which will be linked in the description down below. And when you have rotor brushed it's going to look something like this here. A cutout version of Central C in my uh, um, case here. And we're going to start off by duplicating this so I'm going to press Ctrl D on the layer. Now we get two layers. And on the bottom layer here I'm going to be deleting the rotor brush effect so I'm going to press delete there. And after that I'm going to be pre-composing the Roto brush layer, which is going to be the top layer here for us. You can name it Roto. So here we have our Roto uh, pre-comp. And we're going to be adding an effect called Threshold RGB. And here we're going to be messing around with the red, green and blue thresholds to get the trail color basically. And we want to go for a more, uh, I would say, dark blue, uh, purple on that direction to uh, create a shadow like color and look there but if you guys want to create some other colors you guys could do that as well but for this tutorial we, we are creating the uh, shadow one so we're going to go for more uh, darker colors so the green fresh show i'm going to set it to around 43 around there the red one drag it down lower than the green so 38 and then the blue one the most important one because we want to be pretty dark I would say 33 here. And now if you guys zoom in, we have these blue and pink red kind of details here, which is pretty clean and it's going to work perfect for the shadow trail. So when you have these uh, colors here, blue, red, pink, dark kind of colors, you want to go back to your uh, main composition, shadow trail here, and we want to change the blending mode of the rotor brush layer here to overlay. And now you guys can definitely see the small blue and red details are popping there. And for the rotor pre-comp here, we're going to be adding a pixel motion blur. We're going to use the normal uh, manual as the shutter control. I'm going to increase the shutter angle to 2000. And then the shutter samples to 20. Already get this look here, which is pretty nice. After that, I'm going to be adding echo. I'm going to set the echo time uh, in the seconds here to minus 0 0.05 or something like that and then the number of echoes to 15 the decay to 0 0.75 and echo operator to screen and as you guys can see my uh, computer is on not on fire but uh, it's <laughs> it's loading much now so uh, yeah it's a very very demanding effect but uh, I mean I think the result is worth it not gonna lie so you guys can see here we get this kind of look here on our footage here so you guys can see this is how it looks we get this small dark and blue red details here you guys can see from the threshold effect earlier on it looks very very clean in my opinion and now for the final touches here we're going to be making a adjustment layer so press ctrl alt y here i'm going to be adding curves and i'm going to increase the contrast slightly 
And also that for the final touch, this is optional, but I wanna add a glow. I'm going to be adding a deep glow to glow mode. I'm gonna change that to a lens iris to get this uh, cool like lens kind of glow. This is obviously too bright, so, uh, so I'm gonna drag it down to 0 0.4. As I said in uh, the ghost trail effect video, I usually show the preview in like in general in all my tutorials, but uh, can't do it for this one. It's uh, insanely heavy. So I mean, if I would would have just like you know tried to pre-render this like just a preview, it would have been like 30 minutes. Not gonna lie, for just one second, two seconds. So uh, it's it's very heavy. I, I don't have the best computer, but this is I would say heavy in general. So uh, yeah. Uh, just be conscious uh, about that. But I think it's worth it. The, the like outcome you get from this effect is really really cool, and it's going to make your music videos really stand out if you guys, you know, want to elevate them even more. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm very satisfied with this effect. I'm gonna show some preview of the like end result. You guys saw it in the preview, but it's gonna pop up here somewhere. Uh, and yeah, I'm I'm very satisfied with this. Uh, effect and if you guys like this tutorial don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to check out my website editingvisuals.com also don't forget to check out my socials especially my instagram that's where i posted this i posted a little bit uh, a little sneak peek of this uh, effect which i thought was very cool you guys absolutely loved it that was why i made the tutorial <laughs> don't forget to check out my discord server and uh, i will see you guys soon take care and uh, have a nice day